O'Connor doesn't see a ton of time. This is just his second start of the year. The 0-1 is a curveball lined in the right center field gap. That gets down for a base hit. It's going all the way to the wall. Going around second base is O'Connor. He's going for three. The throw to the cutoff man is held there and in with a diving triple is Tim O'Connor to lead off the ball game for Fordham in the bottom of the first. Lead away from home. The 1-0. Is hit well into left field, moving over his Hogboon. He makes the catch, trying to race in, stumbling on the way in, and diving in across home plate without a play at the plate is Tim O'Connor with the first run of the game. Peltz checks in, a left-handed hitter. Runners at first and second, and nobody out. Trying to square down to bunt, throw down to second base on the miss. The tag, he got him at second base. Lapree couldn't dive back in time. Just a kid, just a freshman. You wonder if he'd get the... Go ahead, and he does on a 2-0, lines it to right, racing back, and it goes over the outstretched glove of Lushkovic. Moving around from second base is McGinney. He's going to be waved home. The ball's at the wall here at third and holding there Lundy with a triple down the right field line to give Fordham a 2-1 lead in the bottom of the second. And scored Brendan McGinney who led off the inning with a, with a walk, rather. Here's a chopper towards short. It's gloved by Bacon. No play at the plate. Throw to first. Is in time to get Donatio. Coming across and scoring is Jason Lundy. And Fordham's lead expands. It's now 3-1 Rams. Get hit out of Houlihan Park. 2-2 two, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball was in the dirt. Tagged by Phelan. Yankees fans may have heard that. That's Mark Teixeira's high school. 3-2 is hit in the air to left. Moving in. Diving for it. Does Donatio have it? He does. Wind up from Johnson. The 2-2 two, two pitch is... Hit, nubbed towards short. It's gloved on the run by Stanfield. He throws to first. He is in time. He got him. In there in a little less than a month, the 3-2 is hit high in the air to deep left field. Moving back, Hogboon. He looks up. It is out of here. A solo home run from Mark Donatio. And Fordham takes a 6-2 lead in the bottom of the eighth. That ball was a rocket. It was crushed, Mike, and... Donatio, like you said, has the game-winning run right now and just added some insurance. Ball bounced and far to the right and wasn't able to get the tag down. The 1-1. Is hit high in the air to deep left. Moving back, Hogboon. He looks up. It's gone. Two-run home run for Charles Galliano with one out in the bottom of the eighth. Fordham leads 8-2. So I think he keeps that streak going, Mike. Holy smokes. Two in the inning. And Charles Galliano ripped that ball to left and put it in the exact same spot. Run in the fourth. Two runs on three hits, one error. The one-two pitch is skied in the air, served up towards the third baseman, Edmiston. Into foul territory, he makes the catch. Ball game. Fordham defeats Albany in a midweek non-conference matchup, 8-2. The Rams move to 11-13 on the year. Albany falls to 4-15. We're here with freshman pitcher Kirk Haynes of the Fordham baseball team following the Rams' 8-2 victory over Albany on Tuesday. Kirk, seven strong innings today, gave up just three hits. Really looked like you got in a groove there in those middle innings. How, how did you guys get through today's game? Uh, I'm just trying to throw strikes. You know, I struggled getting ahead, but defense played really well. They put the bat on the wall and put it in play, but I had a good defense behind me today and make a lot of outs. Third win in a row for the Rams. Are you guys starting to gel together again? This was a very young team coming into this season, and now you're just two games under 500. Is it starting to gel now? Uh, a little bit. Everybody's starting to fit in, find their role, and uh, get some big hits here and there. Pitchers are starting to come through and throw a lot of strikes, get a lot of outs, so everything's starting to figure itself out. Big game tomorrow, Battle of the Bronx between Fordham and Haddon. It's, it's always kind of a, a, a rivalry game, and it's even more so considering your coach used to coach at Manhattan. How does the team feel going into tomorrow's matchup uh, against Manhattan? I know Coach Layton really wants this one going back to Manhattan, and uh, it's an important weekday game to keep it going for us, keep that win streak going. All right, well, congratulations on your first win today, Kirk, and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.